Okay, as we discussed before we slipped into that break that we will be talking about India's nuclear growth trajectory over the years. And to get us more details on that, we will be tossing back to him. Thank you so much, Isha rightly said. We are tracking India's nuclear power program a trajectory over the years and as India's first indigenous 700 megawatt electric nuclear plant starts in Gujarat, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called it a major milestone in India's quest to become energy independent. This is the first India-made nuclear plant that is now running at full capacity. Here's more on the nation's nuclear program. India's first indigenously developed 700 megawatt electric nuclear power plant in Gujarat's Kakrapar has started operations at full capacity. As I mentioned, the reactor at the Kakrapar atomic power project had started commercial operations on the 30th of June but was operating at 90% of its capacity until now. Now, the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited is building two 700 megawatt pressurized heavy water reactors at Kakrapar, which is also home to two 220 megawatt power plants, two of them. Now, it's a milestone moment and it had its own ups and downs, of course, along the way. India was among the first countries to use nuclear energy. The country enacted the Atomic Energy Act in 1948, only one year after independence, and began research and development of nuclear energy. Now the country first introduced small reactors made by General Electric. Then it became the first Asian country to start operating nuclear power plants in 1969. In 1971 then, India and the Soviet Union, they signed the Indo-Soviet Treaty of Peace, Friendship and Cooperation. Despite Western sanctions, the two countries agreed to build a 1 million kilowatt nuclear power plant in 1988. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, Russia took over the agreement to start construction of two reactors in 2002. The reactors started operations in 2014 and 2017, respectively. India has not signed the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons or the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. The United States, in 2008, it acknowledged India as the de facto nuclear power by signing a nuclear agreement and asked the Nuclear Suppliers Group to give India special treatment. It enabled nuclear F exports by the United States. The Nuclear Suppliers Group, it's a transnational body of nuclear supply countries that aim to control the proliferation of nuclear weapons by curbing the export of related development materials as well as technology. India, it enacted the Civil, Liber the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act. This was in 2010, which requires heavy electric manufacturers to assume liability for nuclear damages. India is the only developing nation to have indigenously developed, demonstrated and deployed nuclear reactors for electricity generation. And this was made possible through several decades of extensive scientific research as well as technology. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.